yes people welcome back to my channel barca one man united two 74 mm. minute come on barca well i would say overall man united has been the better team tonight we're not good enough we're not good enough chavi once again like he did in the champion league group stage and last season in europa league against frankfurt basically chavi has fucked up again but yeah credit to man united but I still believe we might get a draw. Let's see what's going to happen. There's a corner for Barca in here. But yeah, of course, I'm not a happy Barca fan, clearly. I was confident. Never said we're going to beat Man United. Like, we're going to smash them. I said we're going to go through. I knew it's going to be tough. But I did not expect after that first half as well. But then, yeah, I mean, it's not. A lot of people are going to say, why well, are you using that as an excuse? Like the ref, Pedro is injured. We haven't got Dembele, you haven't got Busquets and stuff. We're going to be talking about that straight after the game. Make sure you just smash the like. Really appreciate the support. And yeah, Vizca Barca. Oye, well, mañana siempre. Very disappointing, of course, with the result. Anyways, my man, welcome back to my channel again. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of like, I mean, obviously I want you guys to win, but you know. I, I mean, I, I feel bad for you because you the confidence you had, and then it get it just get killed in like ten minutes. It they didn't cut you open. It was just two silly mistakes from Barca. It was just. But the thing, the thing is, right? Yeah, two very silly mistakes, right? Two two silly mistakes that Marco Andre Ter Stegen does usually consider that kind of goals. Come on, come on, Rafinha, come on, cross in the box. Lewandowski, goal! Pamo! 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 Still on! Still on Pamo! Pamo! Still on Pamo! Pamo, carajo! Pamo! Game still on! Pamo! Pamo! Right. Because Mira just lost the ball, then Rafinha crossing the ball. Did the Lewandowski touch that? Did Lewandowski touch that? Pomo! Oh, he's a non goal. It's hard to see it. I think it's a. Pomo! 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 Carajo! Pomo! What a game of football! Come on! Come on! Come on! Fifteen minutes to go. Come on, come on! Wait, yes, we haven't been a better team tonight. Now we have, and I'm fucking very disappointed. But come on! What are you doing again? Come on! Pomo carajo, still game on, let's go. Remember, away goal doesn't count for shit anymore. I wa away goal does not count for shit anymore. Pomo, still game on, Pomo. Pomo. Pomo carajo. Pomo balde, what are you doing? Clear the ball out, man. Just clear the ball out. Different gravy with Kriest. Oh, come on, guy. Losing the ball again, man. Oh, oh, you lucky guy. Oh, man. Come on, Barca. Come on. Fuck's sake, man. Man, sloppy performance. Sloppy performance. Chavi, fuck off, Chavi. Fucking pissed off with Chavez, Jan. Fuck, he messed up again in the Champions League group this season, in the Europa League last season. Another mistake. Tonight. You've made another mistake. And you're not doing it. It's Rashford. It's Rashford. Again. Oh, what was that? What was Why that? Why do we keep giving the ball away? Why? Why? Rashford, man. Absolutely a joke. Man, this is too many mistakes. We're not playing La Liga, we're not playing against bloody 
um, Real Vadalolu. We're not playing against bloody Getafe. That's why I said. That's why I said the Liga's overrated in terms of competitiveness. That's come on, man. Oh, mistake! Oh, what a save to hair! What a save! Rafinha again? How did you miss that, Rafinha? What a save! That is. Should be 3-2. What a game of football, people. What a game of football. This game should be in the Champion League. What a game of football. What a ball by Mark on the right there, Stegen. Look sure with a mistake. Try to pass the ball back to De Gea. What a save, Rafinha. Rafinha, get out of my club, Rafinha. Rafinha, get out of my club, Rafinha. Absolutely yeah. shocking. West of a player. Keep smashing the like on this video. Palmo, carajo. Corner for Barca. Palmo. Oh. Oh. You're ahead of me. You need to make sure you don't say anything, right? What? You're ahead of me. That's going to be Oh, Ooh, corner. De Gea, Clarea. What a game of football. Palmo, carajo. This is, this is a Champions League game. That's what I was What a game of football. What a game of football. Palmo, carajo. Make sure you smash the like, people. Pumo, Pumo, Fati, show. Ooh. La, 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 la. <laughs> Imagine the scenes if Barca win this game. That would be crazy. Was that an own goal? Well, now we can see better. No one touched the ball. That was Rafinha goal. People Damn. keep smashing the like on the stream. Bring the likes up. Pomo, pomo. Bring the likes up. Pomo, carajo. Pomo. Sadly, my quality of the screen is Bring the bad. likes up. Pomo, carajo. Come on, guys. Pomo, uh, pomo, pomo. Right. When you're Sancho is changing. Sancho's off. Ganache's on. Watch out for Ganache. Uh, San Sancho, what a waste of a player, man. Wow. No, 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 no. I keep saying this no. all the time. Sancho, no, no, no. Is, Sancho will never be a top footballer. No, Sancho never. would have been a top player if he stayed at Norman. If he stayed at Sancho Norman. will never be a top footballer, man. What? What if he stayed at Dortmund? Sancho will never be a top footballer. What if he stayed at Dortmund? What if he stayed at Dortmund? Still, he will never be a top footballer nah. because he, he touched five. No, no, no. He decided no. to touch the ball five times before nah. he's, he, he's using his brains, right? I disagree with him, man. You know, you know, I just ruined the talents, man. So would have been such a quality yeah. player. But then you now have to ruin right, him. Come on. We need a win, please. I won't say anything, okay? I'll say we need that. a win, please. Too yeah, many yeah. mistakes. I cannot believe. Why did Xavi star Marco Alonso? Why? Pedri come off injury, right? That was a big miss straight away. Why bringing in Sergio Robert, another plastic player? And we bring in another plastic player, Ferran Torres. is off. I cannot Virginia. believe. But the thing is, is that why is um Xavi doesn't want to clearly Xavi doesn't want to win this game, right? He doesn't want to win this game. Ruffing is well upstairs, well coming off. Oh, damn. Gabby might miss the second leg, isn't it? I think yeah, he... but he will miss second leg because yeah. he got your lock card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah that's that's a big miss. Oh, Ferran and Torres. Why is he still at Barca, by the way? I oh, know. You tell me. You tell me. You tell me. Bloody like Ferran Torres, Eric Garcia, Sergio Robert. You tell me. You tell I me. <laughs> I you don't... tell me. I don't know. People, bring the likes up. Vamos, carajo. People, keep smashing the like on the stream. Bring the likes up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Still game on. Vamos, vamos. Remember, oh we're going to do God. much with you straight after. Um, Come on. What are we doing again? Oh, brilliant. What are we doing? What are we doing? We just oh, keep yeah. making mistakes and after mistakes. Mistakes and after mistakes. Come on, come on, move the ball. Come Ooh. on, Gavi. Oh, brilliant skill. Does he still have it? Free kick, Barca. Ooh, ball there. Free kick. Ball there. He just lost the ball. Gavi, free kick. Free kick. Vamos Lewandowski. Vamos Lewandowski. Free kick for Barca. You're not allowed to say anything because you're ahead of me. Vamos, people. Keep smashing the like on this video, please. Keep smashing the like. Vamos. Bring the likes up. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it, baby. Free kick for Barca. Bamo, bamo, bamo. Still get it. Bamo, bamo, bamo. No, bamo, bamo, bamo. Oh, carajo. Lewandowski header. Lewandowski header. He's going to score now. Oh, no. Huh? I'm calling it. No, I'm going to say 3 2 Barcelona. Watch. I think Lewandowski will score. I think Lewandowski will take the free kick now. 
Come on. Rafinha, man. How are you still at Barcelona? Come on. Vamos, 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 vamos. I won't say anything because, um, you you're know. Not allowed, you're not allowed to say anything, please, because you're ahead of me, like, I don't know, probably a minute. Come on. That might be fatty. That might be fatty. Come on. Vamos, cara. Vamos. Oh, here you go. It's about to Vamos, vamos, fatty. Vamos, fatty. Vamos, fatty. Vamos, fatty. Vamos, fatty. Do something for once. What are you doing? Crossing the box. Money out to clear it out. Then Araujo is still in the box. Araujo. Then it's Lavanovsky. Handball? Handball? No. Is that handball? No, no, no. Is that handball? Is that Another. handball? Another free kick. Free kick. Yeah. But will they check it? Is that a handball or not? Well, hold nah. on. Relax, I'm baby. Not. Relax, baby. Is that a handball or not? Is that a handball or not? Handball. Handball. Nah. Yeah, handball. He put his arm up. That's a handball. Are we yes. That's a handball. Right? Another penalty. No, they're not. Yeah, gonna... I don't care. Look, I don't care. That's a handball. He has his hand up, right? Yeah, I can't tell because... The VAR is even checking? Of course the VAR is not checking. Is the VAR checking? Of course the VAR is not checking. Is the VAR checking? Of course the VAR is not checking. Of course the VAR is not checking. The VAR would never check that. <clears throat> nope, the VAR is not checking that. Typical. The VAR, the VAR is not checking. Look at him twice. Twice, twice, yeah, twice, my people, twice, right? Twice, twice. It's a double goal. How did the ball go in? What a chance! What a chance! What a chance! Damn. What a chance, man. How did the ball not go in? I'm not showing the replay. How did the ball go in? I do not know. How did the ball not go in? Lewandowski again? Again! Again! De Gea! How? Crossing the box? Again? Lewandowski? How? How? How are we not winning this game? How? I don't How? know. How? Maybe the last... Maybe the Lux with the United. How? How are we not winning this? How are we not winning this? How are we not winning this? How are we not winning this game? How? How are we not winning this? How are we not winning this? How? How? How are we not winning this game? How? Man, a draw is written. How? It'll be a draw. How, man? The Lux with the United. I think everything says you're not going to go to I'm not going to lie to you. Everything. Oh, Lewandowski. Oh, Lewandowski. My, my quality of the screen is so bad, but I guess I'm just going to have to. Oh. oh. I won't say anything because I'm... They're not free kick. Is that not free kick? Ooh, you know. Is that not free kick? Is that not free kick? Is that not free kick again? No, no that's that not, not. That shouldn't be a free kick again. No, that's not. That's not. That's not. Anyway, I don't know if it's a free kick, but oh my god, you're not in the car here. Oh. Oh my god. What are we doing again? How was that all free kick? That's not there. That's not a free kick, I don't think that's oh, Malasio. The ball is out or now? Conde. Diving. Come on. Come on, Fatih. Come on, Barca. 
come on. What a game of football. What a game of football. Do you think, I know still, you know, a few minutes to go, but do you think a draw is a fair result? I think, you know, this, yeah, probably Boston in the first half, you know, I'd have been brilliant this year. I think a draw probably Yeah, but then we had the better, the better chances. We had the better chances. Mm. You see the one we just had, like, open goal, we hit the post. I think that was Kazmiru. That would have been an own goal. But yeah, overall, the, the draw so far has been a fair, fair result. I expect so much more from Barca. I am absolutely mad at Xavi. Some of this, some of these decisions in him and United, they may score a third goal. What a game of football, by the way, people. Keep smashing the like on the stream, please. Bring the likes up and I will pull up. Ooh, is that in? Yeah, that's in. Come on, Barca. Come on. Come on, let's push forwards for the last few minutes. Let's go, please. Let's go, Fatih. Let's go, Balde. Let's go, Balde. Ooh, is that a corner? Surely that's a corner. That's a corner. Four minutes extra time. That's a corner. That's a corner. Look at the chance. Yeah, that would have been on goal from Casemiro. How did the ball not go in? How did the ball not go in? And then again, Fati, what a chance. What a game of football, by the way. What a game of football, man. Keep smashing the like on the stream, please, people. Vamos, vamos, vamos. What a game of football. What a game of football, people. What a game of football. Right. Oh, no. Keep them on United. I think a draw. I think it'll be a draw, probably. But you I never know. There, yeah. What a game of football. What a game a... of football. Wow, wow, wow. What a game of football. What a game of football. Come on, we'll this... one more chance. Come on, put pressure on it. Oh, goal kick for Man United. This is, I think this is, this helps United more because it's at Old Trafford, second leg. So, yeah, of course, second leg that will be, you know, come on, Old Trafford is not an easy place to go. Yeah, especially this season. Last season, it was probably the easiest place. What a game of football. What a game it of football. It was like a Champions League game, man. They should, they, this, is, this is better than Dortmund Chelsea. What was that? Oh, uh, yeah, big time. This was better than any Champions League game so far. Yeah, Bayern... This Bayern was better than Bayern. any Champions League game so far that we've seen. We know these clubs belong in the Champions League. Anyway, it's two minutes to go. Can we push forward now? But then you that does explain away. that explains really the downfall of these two clubs right now. Come on, come on, throw for Barca. Let's go, let's go one more, one more time. Let's go, baby. 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 One more time. Come on, Gavi. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on, it's in the box. Fatih, have a shot. Oh, what a chance! Is that corner? How? That's corner, good. corner for Barca, last chance. How? Another chance, man. I think another chance. Fatty, man. Fatty. Bomo, bomo. Apparently we apparently we were corner. Winning. Corner apparently. now. Bomo Ferentor. Corner. Last chance of the game. Pomo. Pomo. Ferentor is. Ooh, clear yeah. Man United clear yeah, Varan. What a game oh. of football, by the way. What is Man United oh doing now? My is my now? Come on. One more chance. One more chance. One more chance. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on. Let's go, Frank and Hong. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cross in the box. Handball. Oh. Is oh. that handball? Corner. Corner. Is that handball again? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think it's a handball. What a chance again. For what we've done in the last 10 minutes, we deserve to win this game. Sure. Is that handball? Ah, I mean... Come on, corner. Vamos, the last chance. Palmo. Nah. And again, come on, Ferran Torres. Come on, Ferran Torres. Come on, Ferran Torres. Free kick. That's it, game over. That's it, game over. That's it, game over. That's it, game over, people. I cannot see anything else happen. Looks like it's going to be game over. 
looks like it's going to be game over. Unless you know it's scored. right. Let me just quickly pull pull up. Full time, so. Uh, I just want to say, I do not want Ansafai at Liverpool because apparently we're linked with him, which I do not want him because, uh, I swear, I do not want him at Liverpool because he. Uh, would he fit Liverpool? I don't know. I don't think he would. Probably not. Uh, people, full time, by the way, just keep smashing the like on the stream. We're going to be doing a match review. Big up to everyone in the chat. I'm just putting a pull up. Sorry, I've lost my voice a little bit. And I want to know you guys' thoughts about the game, please. Great game of football, by the way. What's a game of football, people? What's a game of football? Who is the better team today, people? Let me know in a live chat, please. Smash the pull, smash the like on the stream. Keep bringing the likes up. Big up to every single one in a live chat. And yeah, 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 people, my man. Let me just quickly change this. Yes, I'm upset. <clears throat> no, 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 no. By the way, yeah, like I keep losing my voice, man. It was just too much, too yeah. much. What's a game of football? It's too many feelings, yeah. too many emotions as well. It was just too much, right? Yeah. I mean... I've said on the previous for this game, I said I did, I did the previous for this game in someone else's channel. Oh, yeah. And I've spoken my channel a few times and I said, it's going to be a tough game. I said, I'm confident that we're going to go through in both legs. I'm not saying that we're going to smash them. Yourself heard me many times that I said, mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to smash them. It's going to be a very tough, um, you know, two games. But I'm confident that we're going to go through. But then if you ask me after the first game now, Yes, I might, I might have changed my mind, but look, still on. Remember, the away goal does not count. Yeah, it's going to be tough at Old Trafford. We know that. It's going to be tough at Old Trafford. But, and then we've got too many important players in here, right? Chavi today, I don't know what he decided to do. I don't know what was Chavi thinking about today. Starring with Alonso instead of Christensen. Yes, what? both goals did not really help. What? Also, in the ref. Let's be clear in here. The ref made a lot, a lot of bad decisions tonight for both sides. Not just for, you know, Barca. But overall, right, if there had to be a winner with the clear chances, I would probably say Barca. We had the clear chances. We dominate more. But then, yeah, United was good for majority of the game as well. They looked... Even if they did not have the possession, they still look good. And uh, sorry, they looked better than us because we there was times we had a possession, but we could not create mm -hmm. chances. We could not break them. We wasn't using like Rafinha was making too many bad decisions. By the way, big up to everyone in the chat. Please make sure you smash the like, smash the ball, and let me know what was it was about a game. We're gonna go through. Great game of football. Everyone should be happy. Make sure you share the stream as well, please. Make sure you share the stream. Keep bringing the likes up. But yeah, my man, just quickly, right? What was your thoughts about this wow. game that should have been a Champions um, League night? What, uh, what a game. And as a neutral as well. I love that. This is a good thing about as a neutral. Like, you get to watch these games, don't matter who wins. You don't care. But I think United will be more happier going to second leg. Because just because of the fact that it's at Old Trafford and it's a different piece of season. But if we're looking at the overall game and Barca scoring the second goal last, I think Barca will be... It's a 50-50 one. And it does depend. I mean, Chabi was management. We just, we just saw how Chabi inexperienced is. He just saw his experience in a big game like this. He starts um, Alonso and um, uh, Alonso and Alba. I what I will say with Piers Morgan and come out in the chat says Man United prepared for Christensen and Bolde. Um, Alonso and Alba came out of the syllabus. Yeah. That is a surprise, but obviously there's no pace and it does not help as you go and attack. So it was a very exciting game. 
like we said, it should have been a Champions League game. It felt like a Champions League game. So, yeah, very good game to watch. And it's going to be interesting to see second leg because I think United will beat you guys 2-0. I, I just have a feeling because I know Barca would probably score, but at the same time, I feel like United, Old Trafford is going to be up for it. And I, th- I just can't see Barca dealing with that atmosphere. No matter even if it's some OP team, just say that PSG would have been back in the night. You still can't beat United at Old Trafford. It's different gravy. So if I'm, I like I said, I'll be more happy if I'm United. So, and I think especially considering, I think Barca will be lucky in terms of Barca didn't perform that great, <clears throat> and they still got a draw. So maybe it's, it's both teams will be somewhere happy with this one because, but first of all, United, United were like they'll take a two to draw at Old Trafford. Barca were poor today; they lost the boring times. But they still got a draw. So the game on at Old Trafford, we'll see what happens. Be interesting to see what Barca turns up. If this Barca turns up, you're getting you're getting done. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I strongly believe and I agree with you. If we turn up like we did today, we definitely get knocked out. And uh, people, just do a massive favor. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And please make sure you smash the like on this stream. Keep, keep bringing the likes up, please, please. Make sure, leave your thoughts in the live chat, and I will go through every single one of you. We're going to analyze the game still. We're going to go through the key moments as well. But for that to happen, make sure you keep smashing the like on this stream, please. Right, let me just quickly go big up in here to my men, onto the ball. Big up to you. Hope you're doing well. Also, Vitor Trocado, that when he said goal, that was, I don't know which one it was. It was Master four really. goals in the second half. So, I mean, it was just too much. And uh, Man United look exactly um, what it says on my tattoo, right? Exactly what it says on my tattoo. But please, people, keep worry. leaving your thoughts in the live chat. What was your thoughts about the game and everything? Oh. Please, please, keep smashing oh. the like as well. The most oh. important thing is bringing the likes up. Bring your fours in a live chat, then I want to go. I gotta go through. Yes, Man United at times today, like they've been almost the whole season, they definitely look on top of the world. Like he we'll says, beat. on football for Aaron. We'll, we'll beat them at Anfield, don't worry. And um King of Football says, brother, I need your support. I, I need support from you fullers. Yes. Yes, brother, big up to you. And he says, my brother, thank Barcelona oh. was scoring in 89, 30 uh. seconds. And um, we was close, my man. We was very, very close. I think that was Casemiro that tried to clear the ball out and the ball <clears> still <throat> hit in a post. And um, Bobby, big up to big you, up. my man. Good to see you. He says, about to hop on a show, want to drop a like and say hi. I really appreciate big the support, up. my man. Right, we've got a first one in here. Saying, how did the match go, brothers? I couldn't watch today's match because I had to go watch my team, yeah, play against whatever, yeah, in Division 2 league match day. And now I'm heading home. It was a great game of football. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, this was better than any Champions League game so far. What a game Look, of football. Liverpool Madrid will top this. That's what I'm saying. I just what a game of football. We had everything, everything. And um, Piers Morgan says, Man United yeah, prepare for Christensen Balde. Should both, both should have started easily, easily. Alonso and Alba come out of what I, will say, what I will say is, I don't want to see Chavo was smart tonight, because he wasn't. He did something good in terms of, I, I could see what he was doing by surprising United with a change. I mean, but then again, you Al, Alonso and Alba are done. Alba probably, but they don't have the pace to deal with Marcus Rashford and bloody Sancho. So exactly. I, I could understand why he did that. Like, it's pull a surprise. But at the same time, I was like, you need pace tonight. You don't need, like, Alonso and Alba are so slow to deal with Rashford. that, that You need much more pace. Uh, oh. He said David De Gea looked oh, like no. <laughs> very thing. He made brilliant saves today. I think both keepers did well. But then, you know, I'm a bit upset. Do you know, first goal, that's the keeper. Keeper needs to save that, right? Keeper should have closed his left post, right? And yes, unfortunately, 
he's been amazing. For me, he's the greatest Barcelona keeper of all time. And he should have done it better. That's just me. He should have done it better. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go through there, that's for sure. Piers Morgan said, Roman losing by one goal. How can oh. this be possible? Did Roman I mean lose? Doesn't matter. Um, Mark Rings, big up to you, my brother. He says, Man United should have won now. Man United should not have I won. I draw the fair result. I draw the fair result. Um, let me, if there was a team that should have won today, definitely Barca, because we had the, mo the most chances. But yeah, I would say a draw was a fair result. And um, let me throw a big up to you, my man. He says, Barca needs to step up in second game. Yeah, Nothing is lost. It's true. I mean, like I said, remember that the away goals doesn't count anymore, right? So we we haven't got away goals anymore, right? So I mean, still still game on, but I've got my doubts now after seeing the first game and uh, the players that we've got injured as well. And Chavi once again, oh. he he Chavi, oh. yeah. Fucked up in a Champions League. He fucked up last season in the Europa League against Frankfurt, and looks like he's going to do it again. But uh, yeah, Mark Green says, "Oh, uh, just quickly, it shows Xavi's inexperience in big stages as well." Definitely, hundred mm. percent. I agree with you. Um, Mark Green says, "Roll on next game. Come on, your edge." Uh, yeah, run on into next games, and he says, "Ter Stegen will not make this game again." Yeah, yeah. Um, I was disappointing. Even the second goal, I know that was a non-goal, but, you know, it's just, I don't know. Martin Mart Mart Stegen in both goals, for me, should have done it better. And, um, by the way, Man United's second goal, that was a non-goal, but there was two of Man United players offside. Should I still count on that? I don't know. It was just too many decisions today. Too many decisions today. I was actually hoping to get a win, but 2-2 two -two isn't a bad first leg it, result. Listen, I don't want... It is a bad result. I mean, it's not a bad result, but like, it's not the result you wanted. That's how I because for me, you needed to win tonight instead of draw. It it was a must win, and you bottled it. In Chavi again, showing his. I think this is what Barcelona fans have to deal with. He Chavi's going to take two years now, second round, two years now. So, look, I I think Old Trafford. If if it was last season Old Trafford, then yeah, you, it's a good result. This is a different beast. So you, let's see. I mean, you know, I could easily just not turn up. They could, they could easily just um, teams have that in them. So we'll see what happens. It's, you're still in the game, so who knows? Anything can happen. Let me from Hamburg says handball from Fred. Yes, handball, yeah. and also we had in the first half a nasty tackle. I don't care. That should have been a penalty. I mean, I don't think. Like I said, the ref made too many bad calls today for both sides not just you know against Barca but yeah in a first half let's not forget right if you guys actually watch the game in a first half the chances that Man United create in a first half that all come from that most of them should have been a free kick for Barca most of them was offside but the the uh, the, the, the the ref never gave offside and we knew that when we know the VAR would have checked most of the Man United chances, if that in the first half, if that um, have gone in, and um, yeah, just too many bad calls. I just want to call out Lewandowski as well for another not clinical finish, not clinical performance. I mean, I know he didn't, he had like at least finished, he should have at least scored one goal tonight, at least one. Because I like, like, we I thought he would turn up, but again, another performance. Which look, I don't know, Barca could still. It's looking tight right now, and this is what we were saying exactly. This is a Champions League game. This should be a Champions League game. They're looking at it. Just pretend no one knows if it's Europa League or Champions League. They look at this and they... It's Champions League. It's literally... Th these two teams belong in the Champions League. But then again, they just show the drop-off in both teams in the last few years, to be fair. so And even the stats has been a tight game. That's, it, that, that's probably the most correct stats in ages. That's... Yeah, I mean, when we look at the stats, right, it looks like, like I said, we dominate the possession, but, you know, that 39% that Man United had, the possession, yeah, it made basically an equal 6 to 1 that Barcelona has in here, because that 39% of possession for Man United, they did make the most of it. They, mm -hmm. Every time they had the ball, they make the most of it. They was creating dangers. They did create chances and they looked good. 
And well, with the 61% that we had, most of the times we did not look good. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You yeah, know, with yeah, the 61% yeah. possession we had, right? Uh, we did... and it... hmm. You just continue, I'll just gonna... Yeah, with the 61% of possession that we had, yeah, we did yeah. not take the best of it. That's 61%. Yeah. Well, Man United, exactly. yes, well, Man United took the best of the 39% they had. Small amounts of possession, but they took the best of it in each time they had the chance. That's what, it, for me, it was a very tough game. We know it was a great game to watch. Yes, we probably slightly had the better chances, you know, but especially at the end, you know what? In the last 10 minutes, that's 10 50 minutes we was the better team and we should have won but yeah overall i would say the result was fair both teams are missing key players as i mentioned on the previews but yes that loss from pedri was a big loss yeah I we're mean... gonna go what i'm gonna do today right we're gonna review the game like this right we're gonna review the game like this we're gonna go through minute 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 and minute we're going to go through every key moment of the game. We're going to go through the moments where, you know, Pedri come off injured. Should that that been a penalty for Barca in the first half? Should that have been a, a penalty for Barca in the second half? Should that have been a red card for Julian Conde and then a free kick for Man United just outside the box? We're going to find out very very, very soon, right? We're going to go through. I want everyone to smash the subscribe on this stream. I want everyone to smash the like on this video and also the poll going on. You let me know in the live chat. So let me from a bird says, to be fair to United, Rashford is on fire. Yeah, very, very good. What's a player, man? Barca need to stop him. And I want to say this point on Xavi as well. If you started Christensen, Maybe there would have been a chance you stopped him, but you started a slow uh, Alonso and, and a slow Alba. I blame Chavi for tonight, most of it. Yeah, most. I of am it. going to go through that, and I've said at the beginning of this live stream already that you know Chavi just keeps messing up, messing up again, like he's been doing. Uh, I don't know why people in the live chat say seventy-five percent Man United's. Um, was the better team today? Where in in in, in what world Man United was the better team? I can understand. In one I, world. Can, I could understand if you see United the better team just generally because, like I said, they use their position really well and they all it takes is Rashford to be in and then three two. With Barcelona, it's just like you need three chances to score, and that just shows a difference right now between the two clubs. It's just like they don't have Barca right now. Finishing is not looking great. United just need one chance with Rashford, and then I'll you could see, I think everyone agrees here. Rashford is the best player right now in the world in terms of form. Like, yeah, let's be honest. Name a better player in form wise. There's, there's none. Yeah, I definitely. Can't. I agree with you. I think Rashford has just been an absolutely unbelievable, unbelievable goods. But um, <clears throat> on the previous for this game, right? I've mentioned in our other channel about Lewandowski how he really hasn't been scoring yeah. goals. We've just been lying on Lewandowski to score too much and he hasn't been scoring. And also, on against Villarreal, when I did the live reaction, the match review straight after, I said how poor has been Lewandowski. Lewandowski mm -hmm. needs to make sure he takes his chances. He needs to make sure that he takes the chances. And uh, yeah, again today, I mean, I don't know, he's just been poor. A player like Lewandowski, we're talking about one of the best strikers in the last 10 to 15 years. And come on, he's just crazy, crazy. But let's go, let's talk about a game now quickly. People, keep smashing the like on the stream, please. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Keep smashing the like on the stream, bring the likes up. And yeah, look, my man, we're just going to go through moment by moment, right? Yeah. Kick off of the game, basically, you know, the first few minutes when United looked good, you know, Man United, do you know what? Do you know Man United actually surprised Barca today, the way they set up today? Because yeah. therefore, Rashford was going to play drop into the left. But Man United really, really surprised. They had basically... Bruno Fernandes dropping into the right, yeah. Sancho on the left and having two up front. Rashford 
and yeah. um, whatever his name is. Um, I keep forgetting his name. I can't really pronounce Red his Wolf? name. Hayes Gorst, whatever his name is. Yeah. Yes, because if you look at the lineup, right? Let me just quickly bring the lineup, right? And um, <clears throat> bringing the lineups, oh, we can't talk about the lineup, whatever. But yes, you see that, right? I think no. And they're look, sure, and the they're sure is, where right? in midfield, right? They show where goes in midfield, but he actually is not. He's like. They play like two up front, like they play probably Wiggles and Rashford down the two, Wingers of Sancho Fernandez, Fred Casemiro and Dalton, like two row, the two DMs, and then the back four. So, it, like I said, I think Lissandra should have started. I mean, I don't know why Lissandra might is in start tonight. He Why did he rotate for the Leeds one? What, Lissandra um, Martinez? He was yeah. suspended. Oh, okay, okay. He'll probably be back for the second leg then, right? Yeah, second leg. He will so, be back for the second yeah. leg, yeah. That's going to be much challenging for you now. If Imagine you add Lissandra to that defence. Much harder for Barca now. But I think Barca, Barca got surprised, but they dealt with it. The first half, they were brilliant, Barca. I think they were the better side. But it was just two mistakes and United took advantage. That's the difference between United and Barca. They, 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 United are clinical at the moment. You don't want to give them one chance. And the mistakes that Man United made today, we didn't take their chances. Yeah. And um, but yeah, just quickly going to through the the lineup, right? As we played, right? If I put Barca lineup today, right? I knew this was going to happen. Someone actually asked me in a live chat, right? Someone asked, "Do you think Chavi will put Araujo as a right back to just make sure he's on Rashford, right?" But then Rashford was playing in the middle today, right? And then Sanchez on the left. That was already a big surprise. That did actually surprise me big, big time, right? So then, because Arrow just started game as a right back, yeah, he stayed yeah. in there until, of course, he changed in the second half. When we start considering goals and stuff, we start making changes as well. But when you actually look at Man United lineup today, yes, I was surprised the way Tehan, clever, and fair play, credit to him. Look, it's Bruno dropping into the right, Sanchez in the left, and you would have think that, you know, Hengurst would have been playing as a striker. And um, he clearly didn't. That was a surprise throwaway. Throwaway to um, spot on. What a job he's doing at Man United, by the way. What yeah. a job he's doing at Man United. And uh, let's go quickly. Time. Let's look uh, through the key moments of the game. And I want to hear everyone's voice, people. I keep losing my voice because I've been screaming too much. Typical, but yeah. Like I said, it was a good start from Man United. As you as you saw in the first few minutes. But then we started on one eight, But in the first few minutes, you know, you had Man United was trying to cross the ball. Do you know, because of the lineup, right? The way United surprised Barca today, that actually took... Barcelona, the first few minutes, you know, to get into the game, to settle, because clearly that was a surprise putting Rashford in the middle. And uh, yes, the first few minutes, it was, yeah, Man United, but then Barcelona started dominating the game, right? We started dominating the game, quick as well, we was breaking them, mostly we was breaking them through, you know, Bizaka's side, right? Bizaka was poor today. I thought he was shocking, keeping giving away um, a lot of balls away, a lot of spaces away as well. This is why Alba should, uh, sorry, Balde should have star. And also, I mean, the lineup today, yes, I was surprised. But look, as you can see in here, I was a minute and nine or something. Great play from Barca Zaruz across field. Finds Alba on a fly. He's balling to the age by that was the Lewandowski to take a shot. Good, basically turn around for him. Good save by Tehaya, and then that was the block that Malasia turned challenge to find Rashford who got into the box. That was a block by. I don't think that block was by Alonso. I think, yeah. but I was this one over is Alonso who strikes the free kick. That was another. That was a free kick for Barca. And, um, yeah, I mean, the first half, I'm, I'm going to do this because it's better to do like this, right? Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Otherwise, you're going to be in here all night like this, right? 
because we, we still remember. I know there was so much going on, but um, we just bring you like this. It's so much better. Keep smashing the like on this stream, please, be people. Let me know your thoughts in a live chat. And yeah, Fisca Barca. I don't know why 83, 83% saying Man United, you know, was the better team tonight. I don't know what you guys smoking, but yeah. So yeah, what was your thoughts in the first half? Um, a slow start from Barca. I think Barca was surprised by Man United, the way they set up, the way they put their line up today. And then um, a good chance from Lewandowski. Did Man United as well. Man United was still creating chances. It was a good, quick counter-attack football for both. You could tell that. And I said this before this game, right? I said, for me, at the minute, the, the teams with the most form in Europe is Napoli, top, not about the best team. Then there's, there's Barca and Man United. And, um, yeah, and in our first half was approved because in our, in our first half, very, very good game of football. I know it ended up nil-nil, but it was a very, very good game of football in our first half. Yes, we had the most possession. We slightly probably had the most shots in the first half, I think. Let me just quickly check. But it was a close game. I thought first half was a very, very, very close. Now, Man United actually had more. Man United actually had three shots on Tiger. But like I said, some of Man United's chances in the first half come actually from where he was offside. Two of them was offside, but then the rep, the, the linesman never gave, but I'm pretty sure the VAR would have this allowed. But, yeah, what was your thoughts in the first half and also some of the decisions in the first half, right? That Bizaka tackle that on Jordi Alba, was that a penalty for you or no? Would uh, that have been a penalty? We are checked it then, probably, but... I guess we didn't check it for some reason. I I don't know what that should have been a penalty, but obviously if VAR checked it, then maybe it would have been a penalty. But overall, the first half was brilliant to watch, and usually new and are quite boring, but that was a great new and to watch, and it yeah. it, it it brings back memories like from the two thousand stuff where like. Where it was uh, Barca United, and it's, it should not be a Europa League tie, but it is somehow. But I think Barca were brilliant at first. I think the first few minutes, Barca were surprised. And then once Barca found out the system, Barcelona were just smart, and I think they were brilliant at half. I think United weren't. It was 50 50. I think United, Barca were the better team in terms of chances. But overall, play, I'm going to say United probably won that. But chances wise, I think you have to give it to Barca because I don't know, man. I don't know what happened, Barca, man. They were brilliant the first half, and then like we said, we'll discuss second half. But second half, they were off. I don't know what happened there. What Chavi said to them at half time, because for them to make two mistakes for that, it's just and the, the first goal was a corner from a corner, so it wasn't really like a cut. Oh, they didn't really cut Man United open, which shows how good United defense is it right now. So. If I was a boss man, I'll be concerned. Not concerned, but I'll be a bit worried during the second leg just because you didn't cut up boss. It technically didn't cut up United with those two goals. It was two goals that were from crop headers and stuff. So if you perform like that, if you perform like this, then you're not bad. You. Simple. It's simple as that. It's if you, you could perform better. Like some different mentality will come into this game. Like next, we're gonna see the same type of game. I think Barca should Barca are gonna have different mentality because it's at Old Trafford. So be interested in second leg, but first half was it was fifty fifty. And right. also, let's not forget that Pedri came off injury in yeah. Barca. Oh. That like was good. a big loss for Barca. When Pe when Pedri came off injured, do you know what I thought? We're not going to win this game now because I could not see anyone to replace Pedri. And plus, Xavi decided to put in Sergio Robert, right? Sergio Roberto should have been out of Barca a few years back. I mean, he did that is, for me, I never liked him, right? He's a player, yeah, he can play in multi positions, but I do not like Sergio Roberto. He should be out of my club a long time ago. But yeah. Pedro was fantastic. Pedro and Gavi in that first half 
was absolutely brilliant. Them two was just running the show in our farts half. Yeah, yes, with Man United at times also creating dangers. Like like you said, it was a very, very, very good first half. And uh, that kind of nil-nil where you had a feeling, you know, it should have been goals in our first half. Yeah, and yeah. But yeah, when Pedri came off, I thought, you know what? I was absolutely just so, so pissed off. But what I would have done is probably put Ferran Torres, I mean, put Gary back in that midfield put De Jong in a more forward role, then put maybe a winger on, like put Fern or Ansu Fati on. Because yeah. If you did that, it would have been the same. I, I still think it would have been the same result, but I think there would have been more flavour to the game with Barca. Mm-hmm. So, Chavi, he made a mistake tonight by just bringing off, bringing on, um, by playing Alonso and Alba Bringing on Roberto, so Chavi disaster class. Cool. I, I blame like nine percent the defeat on him. I, he deserves all the blame. Not yeah, all. He he definitely yeah. messed up in the lineup, right? And then yeah. also, he just like Pedro injured, right? He brought in Sergio Roberto. For me, shouldn't have brought him in because we already got. If you look at Barca midfield, right? If you actually look at Barca midfield, right? We had already. Frankie De Jong, we've got Frankie Kisai. Why bring in Sergio Robert, right? We're yeah, losing yeah. straight yeah. away. The thing is, bringing Sergio Roberto in, yeah? Of course, he's not Pedri. Oh. Of course, he can create. He's not that kind of player that cre- he's not attack, uh, attacking midfield and that will create chances, will create spaces, yeah? He yeah. should have bought in, even if he or, wants to. I say, or chip. Change the system up. Go four three three. Go back to four three three. Put play Kessie in that DM and then Gavin De Jong. And then you have front three of Lewandowski, Rafinha, or onto Fay or Ferran Torres. I don't want to bring on. He could have done two things here. Could have put Gavi, like I said, put stick with the system. Put Gavi back in the midfield. Put a winger on. Um, exactly. Or you could have changed system like any other manager would, or the best managers would change system. Four three, go back to four three three, and then technically you have the same type of team. Wait, well, not as creative as Pedro is your most creative player. So, but you would at least have a spy in your team. But bringing on for bringing on Robert, who's still at the club somehow, was a, such a mistake. I don't know why he bought Robert. He he didn't do anything wrong. He was just why bring on Robert? But there was no need for him to come on. Roberto is a box to box player. He just comes on to try and you know, like just run. He just runs. We yeah. don't again he wants to run, right? We've got Gavi who just runs non stop. And yes, I absolutely spot on. This is what I was going to say, right? Bringing Sergio Roberto in was a massive mistake. Xavi could have done two things in here as I put Barcelona line up in here, right? Bringing in Anzu Fati. Anzu Fati can always play in the right, in the left, as a number 10, right? Anzu Fati could have played like basically he was doing at the end, right? Behind Lewandowski, right? He could have been playing behind Lewandowski. We, at least he would have someone up there, you know, behind Lewandowski that could create, like Pedro was doing when Pedro was on a pitch. And yeah, a big, big mistake. Like I said, the thing is, Xavi always messed up in most of these kind of big games, right? And I think, did. Yeah, you can make a comparison between Xavi and Arteta. Like, in terms of, in big games, they always bottle it. It's just, I don't, I don't know the same type of manager, but they are, you can kind of make comparison in big games where they both, like, oh, not, they a bit overthink it, where, like, Arsenal did yesterday night where they should have, they just for some reason didn't play Ben White and stuff. So there are comparisons between Xavi and Arteta in big games. You can make a comparison there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think we're making the right uh, call between Xavi and Arteta, and I absolutely agree with you. But yeah, it was a big loss. When Pedro got off injured, I knew. I didn't have a good feeling straight away. We already have Dembele out. As I've mentioned, Dembele is that 
most dangerous player. He was our most dangerous player so far this season. Not having a captain as well, Buskic, in our midfield. Like I said, Frankie De Hong is an absolutely uh, a very, very good player. But having that um, leader in there. By the way, there's an injury update on Pedri, if you want to care. Uh, yes. Pedro has a right thigh injury for the test pending to determine the exact extent. So apparently he'll be out, according to this journalist, Catalonia Radio, he'll be out for three to four weeks. That's yeah. what... another big loss. That's yeah. going to be a tough one. He's, he's just a massive loss. And uh, yeah. especially going into the second game. I know Man United go like, you know, Lisandro Martinez did not play today, Rickson. But, I, you know, we've got... Players like as I was mentioned now, Dembele, Busquets, and, and now Pedri as well. I know who they got just before facing you. They got Leicester at home. So yeah. what doesn't help you guys is they can rotate. Who have you got in the Liga? Because it depends. We got, we got Elche on Sunday night. So that should you both should I think both teams will be rotating massively for the second leg. Elche or Cadiz? I forgot to check yeah. it. Yeah, it's Elche, yeah. We've got, yes. Yeah. So, Bertie's... Yeah. yeah. Who, who we got on Sunday night? Um, Cadiz. You got Cadiz. On Cadiz Sunday. at home, yeah. Sunday night at 8 o'clock, right? Wasn't sure if that was Elsie or Cadiz. But, yeah, people, um, keep smashing the subscribe. Smash the like on this video, please. Make sure you bring your likes up. Leave your fours in the live chat. But, yeah, um, as we've mentioned, yeah, of course, it does not help. And I knew, yeah, that kind of injury, you knew that that is a serious injury. You knew that Pedri would and want knew, to stay on the pitch. And you knew he's going to miss the second leg by how he was oh, acting. The second leg is only next week. It's just next yeah. week. Like, the, the mad thing is, like, you know how um, Champions League is, oh, you have a second leg in a few weeks, four weeks, and then you have to... Have, Europa League is much different because it's like Thursday and then another Thursday. So it doesn't help because if it was Champions League, he would have been back in there. He would have been back in the lineup for that. It's Europa League. It, it doesn't help Barca. And I think I'm not going to say my prediction yet for the United game, but I'm just saying United have a big advantage going to second leg. Drawing at the cup, no. And Pedri out, United should yeah. go through. But then that puts more pressure on United to deliver. Could Barca do a surprise? Because Barca are not favourites. Let's be honest. Barca are not favourites. Even with Pedri, even if he was available, they would not be favourites because Old Trafford is different this season. So Barca, yeah, very do, true. yeah. So Barca do have a bit of hope where they none of them, no one expects them to do anything. So, but could Barca put a surprise? We'll see what happens in the second leg. Yes, my man. We'll see what happens in the second leg. But yeah, um, like I said, I was. I never said we're going to smash Man United. Mm. I said, I'm confident we're going to go through. I was confident that in both legs, we're going to go through. But when I said this, this was before we started getting injured, right? And then even with the injuries, I said, yes, I'm confident. And then now Pedro is out after tonight as well. Seeing Xavi once again making too many mistakes. You know, I'm not confident now. Unfortunately, I'm not confident. You know what I'll be concerned as? I'll be more concerned. If Chavi does this again on next Thursday, he could do it again because a big get, it's the same fixture pretty much, but it's at Old Trafford, and I'm worried if Chavi would overthink it, and United could demol. And when I mean demolish, I mean demolish, demolish. If Chavi overthinks yet again, so I'm I, if I was a boss, I'll be very I'll be concerned because Pedri out. And it's at Old Trafford. So, if I'm Barca right now, I'll be, I'll be disappointed with the performance. And what makes it worse is you lot didn't, you lot got draw, and Pedri could be, is pretty much out for the second leg. So, I'm, I'm very concerned for you guys. I'm, because I can't see you guys going through anymore. I can't. And, you know, Gavi as well also will not be playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Pedri and Gavi are both missing. Yeah, so you're because gonna, Gavi got booked. So, you're going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to do the, some next level thinking here because what are you going to do? Are you going to play? You, you have to do something. Do you want to? Because Gavi has a situation where what will he do? Gavi Pedri out, you're too creative. But where are you gonna, what I'm concerned is where are you going to get the goals from now? But on, and goal? also, um, Busquets may be back for the second leg, but still, you know. 
I wouldn't risk him because what if he gets injured again? That that couldn't be happen. And you rush him back, and like because I've seen it with Diaz, like I think because Diaz was rushed back, um, and then he got the injury again, and we have to wait until he's gonna come back soon, hopefully. But uh, when you rush players back in, I think that's a bit risky. But like I said, what do you do? Do you 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 maybe you have to play Busquets because who else do you have in the midfield options? So maybe you have to rush Busquets back. You have to then. Gabby's out as well. Yeah, I think Busquets might be back. I think Busquets probably will be playing. Maybe come on on in the second half against Cadiz on Sunday night for La Liga, and then probably be able to play against Man United. Or even if he does not play against Cadiz, from the latest update I've seen on Busquets, he may will be able to play second leg. But yeah. Mm-hmm. We just got too many important players missing. And um, I don't know how the cards work because obviously we was in the Champions League. That's what I saw from the media in Spain saying if Gavi gets booked, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Gavi will be missing the next game, yes, right? Yeah, because he got a yellow card clearly. Wait, then how? He probably got a yellow card in the Champions League last year. Yes, that was to do with the Champions League. So, because yeah. they're going into the playoff as well in the Europa League, apparently it does count. Sense. That doesn't make sense. but It does not make sense, but apparently it counts. But let's see what's going to happen. But, yes, yeah, just too many players out. Too many players out. And we should have won today. I mean, we should have won. When I say this, we knew how crucial was to win today, right? The away goals does not count anymore. Yeah. But then at least Lee got with one one goal, yeah? Got leader to Old Trafford with one goal. We should have gone at least Lee with a 3 2 2 1, doesn't matter. We should have been going to Old Trafford with a win yeah. in a bag. And this is why win was most important now. Pedri's injured. And before the game, it was important as well. But now it's now it was even more important because you didn't know Pedri was going to get injured and Gavi could be missing it as well. And Xavi overthinks it again. It's possible, definitely, and then you're done. And you know, you get, get easy. You know, I could actually easy second leg if over if Chavi does it overthinking, which is possible now. Pedri Gavi out. What if he panics, this gets in. So, I'm, if I was a buffer, I'll be very concerned. I mean, I'm, I don't mean little concern. I mean very concerned. That's because what do you do now for the second leg? Pedri Gavi, where's this? Where's the spark gonna come? That's what I'm concerned. Where's the spark gonna come? Who's exactly. gonna be? Like, the only thing I'm thinking, if you look at our bench now, right now, right, we're going to have to be playing, most likely, do you know, Sergio Robert will be starring, right? Yeah. Sergio Robert will be starring, and we most likely will be playing with Frankie de Jong. This is if Busquets does not get back, right? We'll most likely will be playing with Frankie de Jong, Frankie Kaysai, and then Sergio Robert, right? Up front... Xavi knows he's going to have to play with Rafinha, Andrew Fati and Lewandowski. That's the only way. We're probably going to have to go back to 4-3-3 because that's the only way I can think. And if, when Pedro got injured today, we knew that Xavi messed up. We knew Andrew Fati should have come on. And again, messed it up. But yeah, still on the first half, very good game of football. Should have at least happened one goal in that first half. Both teams had good chances. Good, good game of football. But then going into the second half, what a crazy of second half, right? Yeah. We start straight away on them in the second half. And then corner, then from the corner. I think that was a big mistake from Fred. Fred was the guy who was marking Marcos Alonso. And um, let me just quickly go into, let me from Mercedes. Three days after the second Barca game, Man United have their... Cup final against Newcastle. Yes. They play in um, you know, the Carabao Cup final. But it doesn't mean anything, my man. I don't know if they're gonna rest players or not. Surely they want to put the best out there. And well, um, um after going out, but uh, make sure you like to for her. Make um just make sure you join we'll decide this Saturday. But make sure you sound like for her peace. Yeah, big up to you, my man. Anyways, yes, but I'm pretty sure Tehan will still want to put the best team out. Let me just quickly go into second half. 
as a second half, like I said, what a crazy second half. It was just for me, for myself, of course, as a Barca fan, it was just too many feelings. Too, too, too many feelings. It was like, we scored straight away. We scored, like, what, after four minutes into the second half, then we had Man United turn things around in a space of, like, what, five minutes, six minutes, two goals. Very poor defend from Barca. Very, very, very poor defend from Barca. And then they was dominated. They could have gone three one up. It was just crazy. All of a sudden, after Man United score, uh, sorry, after Man United equalized, and then Man United was two one up. We was in a mess. We was in a completely mess. We looked like, you know, a mid-table team from La Liga. It was just in a mess. Absolutely shocking. Then Xavi didn't take long after five minutes. He knew he made a mistake by when Pedro got injured, bringing in Sergio uh, Roberto, by starring Marcos Alonso. I know Marcos Alonso scored a goal, the first goal for Barca, but still, come on, you facing players like Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, who's been on fire, who's so quick, got so much pace. Sancho as well, even now uh, I think Sancho is a bloody shit footballer. But yeah, he's quick players. Marco Alonso, come on. That was a big surprise. Like, of course, we start with Ronald Araujo, but then in the second half, when Christensen come on and stuff, then we start dropping, then, you know, we start putting back Ronald Araujo to a centre-back. You know, we played Balde as a right back, and then they would keep switching between Balde, uh, sorry, um, Ronald Araujo and Conde. They would keep switching, and then of course, Jory Alba come off as well. But Frankie Kasai was very, very poor today. I thought he was shocking. I don't know what Chavi took him forever to take Frankie Kasai off. He should have come off straight at half time. And um, yes, with Barca turning things around, Barca was on top of them, creating chances. Then Man United always in a counter-attack, tried to damage Barcelona. What a game of football. But then we got the two wall back from Rafinha. I wasn't sure if that was an on goal from Varane. I wasn't sure if Lewandowski touched the ball. But yeah, 2-2 two, two game on. That was still 15 minutes to go, plus extra time. And I told you what, after that two wall, we dominate. We was the better team. After when we equalised, we make into two wall. We clearly was the better team, and we could. We had enough chances. You know, Andrew Fati. We hit the post. That was from um, Casemiro. It was just what a crazy game. And then Man United still. Man United in a counter attack. Man United was still trying as well. But yes, what a game of football and. My feelings was, like I said, in the, in the last few minutes of the game, in the last 15 minutes of the game, let's say in the last 10 minutes overall, what we did in the last 10 minutes, we should have won the game because we had enough chance. We were putting pressure on them. Man United looked worried the way we were pressing on them, the way we made the changes as well. We just looked a completely different team. But still, we were making mistakes. We given too much space to Man United. Why? We know how Rashford's been. Rashford's been absolutely on fire. The guy has so much space. He's given the ball away too much. But I know that was the point of the game where we was playing with emotions instead of playing with, you know, with the heads. We're just playing with the heart. We was playing with emotions. We wasn't playing with the brains. And that's why when you not use brains in football, you know that. That will go against you. And yet, we were still in news in that because we want to get a goal back. We did. At the end, we knew how important, how crucial would it have to be to beat Man United in the first leg because we know it's going to be hard. We already got too many key players out. And with a draw, the way Man United is playing, Man United's confidence. And yeah, I mean, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to get, say this. I'm going to give this live stream another five minutes. Big up to everyone that support. Just before I'm moving into the lineup, again, I'm going to talk again mistakes that Chavi, Chavi did because I clearly I wasn't happy again, again. And I had the funny feeling that Chavi will do something. He did through the game as well. The changes he made wasn't the right changes. 
But yes, at the end, what we did in the last few minutes, we should have won. But I thought overall, the result was fair. As you can see in here, I've brought the stats up. Even when you see in the stats, right, it was very, very close. Very, very close. And I've mentioned this, that 61% from Barca, that 61%, you know, made, we didn't make the most of it. And that 39% from Man United, they always made the most from it. And um, yeah, a draw was a fair result, let's be honest. But now I'm going to be talking about Xavi again just quickly as he messed up, shouldn't play a slot Marcos Alonso age, especially against Rashford, Bruno Fernando, Sanchez and stuff. Should Balde start over Alba? Maybe yeah, maybe no. Not really much against Jordi Alba, but more Christensen, who's been absolutely amazing. But yeah, then we thought Rashford would have stuff from the left, right? He didn't. That's why in the first few minutes was a bit... Barcelona wasn't, you know, it took them a few minutes to settle, to know oh, how is Man United actually set up? How is Man United player, like, uh, playing today? But credit to Tehan, that was a big surprise for Rashford in the middle. And um, my man is back yeah, again. I, I can do it now. Yes, my man, let's just quickly finish this off in the first minute that where I'm not much against Jordi Alba because I yeah. think Jordi Alba did okay. But yeah, Balde got more pace. Yeah, we need pace, not starring Marcus, Marcus Alonso. But yeah, bringing in Sergio Roberto for Pedri was a big mistake straight away. Second half, I don't know, all of a sudden we start giving so much spaces away. But yeah, I'm going to be honest. Let me just quickly check the poll, right? Because the poll at the minute says 55% Man United was the better team today. No, nah, there's no way Man United was the better team. We know it wasn't. And um, a draw was a fair result. My man, was a draw a fair result? 100% yes or no? Yes, but if, there, if there's a team to win and a team had better chances, probably Barcelona. But, yeah, I think, like I said, this is a better result for United than Barcelona. But like, let me from a bit see you, three days after, they didn't have the cup final. So, United, what do they go for? Do they go for the Europa League or Carabao Cup? And that's... That's where I think Barca have the advantage now. You're, United have a cup final three days after this. So do they rotate for this or do they rotate for uh, Newcastle? I don't know. So Barca could, there's a chance now Barca could do this. Because obviously United have a cup final three days. So you don't, could have hope. Despite this Pedri injury, despite all these injuries, United could rotate. Not all their squad. But half their squad because they, they have a final to win. I mean, the thing is, I cannot say because it's going to be very, very tough. This Man United, they look confident, man. They do look confident. And we just got too many well, important players you know out. I, you could never write them off despite how bad they've been. Rashford always pops up with a goal out of nowhere. Like, it's just, and Gonacho can pop up with a goal as well. So, United probably, despite they could, they have bench quality as well, don't you? Yeah. Gonacho, and uh, only one player people say you're gonna, but Gonacho, one player can make a huge difference. Gonacho can just score out of nowhere, and it's one nil. So, United are different gravy, they have a different mentality under Ten Hag, but Ten Hag's done a brilliant job. That they, they've been amazing. Came to a dead spot. Amazing. I've said this a few times. Ten Hag's doing an absolutely an incredible and I hate to admit as a Liverpool fan because I made fun of the United through the first three games but you have to give praise because Ten Hag came like I said to a squad that was dead that had an unhappy Ronaldo Maguire who was still playing and he's just and people think they have the players on paper you know I have world class players but you can actually go deep into it they were unhappy players and then Rath especially the first two games of the season, you thought United were finished because uh, they lost to Brentford 4-0 and you felt like it, this would be a long process. And then that win versus Liverpool delivered the confidence boost, especially Marcus Rashford. He's just changed on a Ten Hag. I don't know what's happened to Rashford. It's just... But all the players mostly, all the players have progressed. Like, all of them. I can Maybe Sancho, he hasn't really played that much, so 
really, you can't really say, but Rashford is a man, man. He is just scores out of nowhere. Best player in the world right now in terms of form. That's He's been absolutely on fire. But yeah, I agree with you. Um, my concern is, my worry thing is that we're not going to Old Trafford with a win. Never mind if we miss, you know, the players that we're missing, is the fact that we draw the first game. We draw. If we had beat them, yes, I, I would probably say that, you know, I still believe we're going to go through by now with a draw. Yeah, we still got quality. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, we still got quality, but we need the players to step in, right? We need Rafinha to step in. Rafinha is making too many bad decisions. No, I think Rafinha. you need to win by you need to win by a two goal margin. Because United right now, they they can easily turn a one 0 lead round. Two 0 lead, they can send it to extra time. So you don't need actually a three 0 lead if you want to go confirm your third. Because two 0 is still shaky, you know. I just need two goals, one goal to boost the confidence, and then they're back in it. So you don't need it to score three goals at least tonight. That's probably because United right now they can easily score two goals out of nowhere. We saw it versus Leeds; they scored like five minutes, two goals in five minutes. So you don't need a three 0 lead. So in my opinion, you don't need a three 0 lead. Now, nah, for even if we. Would have gone to Old Trafford with just a win. It doesn't matter what goal difference. It doesn't matter. Like I said, away goals does not count anymore. And if we would have gone to Old Trafford with a win, even with having key players out, I would still be confident. But I'm not. I'm not confident anymore. I'm fortunate now. We have too many key players out, and I'm worried again that you know Chivy will mess up like he did. Send Benny back for the second. Sorry. Is Dembele back for the second leg or no? Nope. Oh. There's no way Dembele be back. Dembele is oh, going to be out for another at least three more weeks. Oh. So, yeah, there's no spark. And Dembele was only spark if he was fit. There's no spark now. I can't see you guys scoring either. I can't. Yeah. And um, let me from Hamburg say, Stehan wants a trophy and a top four. Win against Barca. Don't guarantee a, tro- uh, a trophy. Lots of good teams left in the Europa League. He wants to win Carabao. I, what I will say is there's a squad United have that. Ganacho, he can easily step in and do a job. You got Fred, who started tonight, I think. Fred And Fred can do a job. McTominay, I find he's not helpful. Shaw can play at um, left back. You got Malassia can do a job. So United, even if they don't rotate, they can easily seal in the first 60 minutes and then rotate because that's Barca's situation right now. It, it that's how bad Barca right now. Like let's see with Cadiz for me versus Cadiz I won't matter. That game's just gonna be a simple one for Barca. Um because because Liga is not competitive at all at the moment. Like it's just dead. So it'll be it'll be in, it'll be interesting because Ten Hag will he rotate even if he rotates I still think you're not go through because Barca have no spark at the moment. They they won't have any spark. So, it'll be interesting to see if Tenag rotates. Like I said, Garnacho can do a job as well. You can rotate Rashford for this second. Not rotate Rashford. Wiggles, I don't know why. What what was what a waste of a signing Wiggles has been. What's Wiggles done? I don't know what he's done. Like, what, yeah, what, very, very cool. what was the point of signing Wiggles? But, yeah, I think it's looking good for United right now. They're in a good front of form. Very good result as well. So, United, I think they can win both. They're still in four competitions. You re- I mean, People need to realize they're still in the four competitions. So mm-hmm. I'm not saying they're going to do a quadruple, you know. That, that's not going to happen. But, you know, they're still in four. They, they still have a chance of winning every trophy. So United yeah. easily can rotate versus Barca and still win. That's because they have no spark, Barca. Where's the spark going to come from? I don't get where the spark's going to come from. Exactly. And like I said, and looking at Lewandowski now, Look, looking at Rafinha, who doesn't seem to yeah. clean. Rafinha is not stepping in. Like I said, when Dembele got injured, I said that this is the time for Rafinha to step in. This is the time where we need Rafinha now, right? He's not stepping in. Yeah, he's got a few goals, like today he scored a goal again, but he's just making too many 
bad this season. He's not that player that would make the difference, right? In play as well. In play, Rafinha is not making the difference. Yeah, Rafinha's been assisting. Rafinha been scoring goals, but in terms of play overall, Rafinha is not making the difference. How many times will you saw a Ken today, Rafinha making a bad decision? Can you hear me, my man? Awesome. Yeah, what? What was the question? Said, how many times you saw Rafinha again today making a bad decision? Rafinha, I don't know. What a waste of 50 million, 60 million. You could have spent that on that time. There were so many better players out there. Like, but at that time, I could understand why Barcelona went for him. Rafinha was good that time. Rafinha was quality, and at, especially at Leeds United, he was absolutely brilliant. So I can't understand why he spent that much money on that time. But I, I would say, I think Barcelona are clear out this time. I'm not going to lie to you because Rafinha needs to go. Um, Roberto needs to go. There's so many players at this club which need to go. So both Rafinha, I've said this a few times, right? Rafinha will be the first player that Barcelona will look into it to sell in a sense. What would you what would be the price we were selling for? The price. Because it depends, Luke. Like we might have clubs like Arsenal might come with sixty five million, basically the money we paid for him. Look, he played in the Premier League, he was good at Leeds. It's just not the pressure. Yes, of course the pressure is different when you when you play for a club like Barca. When you play for a club like Leeds, it's completely different. Yeah, he did well in the Premier League. At Barca, a lot of, the thing is, yeah, a lot of Barca fans are going to look into it. A lot, a lot of Barca fans will not agree with me. What I'm saying about Rafinha, that I've said this a few times, I want Rafinha out of my club, right? I want Rafinha, I want the money back. I want Rafinha to go to Leeds. Just take, give the money and take uh, Rafinha back. But the problem is, yeah, he's been scoring goals. He's been assisting, right? But in terms of play, in terms of the game, Ruffing has been shocking. His last touch is horrible. His some of most of his decisions is very, very bad. Right? Like I said, look again tonight, right? Ruffing is score, right? He scored? Yeah. yeah? What well, did Ruffing did? I mean Ruffing even scored that goal, it's just a cross and then Yes. You know? What did Ruffing did today apart from you know having a goal in on the paper, yes, it's his goal. He, he did not mean to have a shot. He did not mean to score. He meant to cross, cross it. yeah? Cross but then it. when people are going to look back, right, they're going to look, yeah, he scored in La Liga, in La, this game and this game. He assists on this game and this game and this game. But people, we're talking about overall in the game and terms of play, right? Rafi is not other than anything extra. People look, just look at goals and assists as, like, everything. If you, like, some play, like, um, let me give it like Salah this season. You look at his goals, and, like he's been good. But at the same when you're the deeper, he's been poor this season. And literally, that's Rafinha. Like, I'm not saying Salah's better than Rafinha. I think Salah's, well, well, he's better than Rafinha, way better. But Rafinha, you look at his goals this season, thinking, what a player, brilliant. But then you look at his overall game. What's he done? Like, what is he, what's it? He doesn't even know his own job, clearly, he doesn't seem like. So Barca. He'll probably be the first one, like you said, going to be sold. Honestly, I think the most you're going to get for Rafinha is thirty million. If this one continues, I'm, I'm to be honest. I think maybe at, I mean, what club would want Rafinha? I don't know. I don't, I don't think anyone more for Rafinha. I'm pretty sure that there will be a Premier League club going after him, as he did well Leeds at least. And um, Leeds return? Possibly. No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think he would return to Leeds, but. I, I strongly believe, and I said this a few times, I think Rafinha will be the first player that Barcelona will look into it to sell in the summer. And um, I'm sorry, but he's not stepping in. When I say step in, I want not just goals. I don't want just assists. I want also. And you know what, what was, man? Like, you're, this is the best time to step up because Dembele, Dembele is out for like, a, well, originally that injury was like a month or something. Two months. Your time was there to step up. Your time was up, and and most players have there's players at Rafinha that don't really play, but like one player gets injured for a huge amount that your time to step up, and a lot of players do step up, but him, as he did he didn't step up, and who not. knows if he had stepped up would Dembele get straight to the team? I don't think so. If he stepped up, like Eddie and Ketia, 
like, just example, before like this Man City run, before Enketi was on great run. Would he like, Enketi really stepped up before? And w- there were questions of w- would Jesus get back in straight away? He probably will because of right now Arsenal. We don't want to discuss Arsenal because you know what's going to happen. But you know, just players like Enketia step up on their chances. Rafinha is not the man to deliver. I think he's he's not suited to the La Liga. I'm not gonna. I think I think we find out Rafinha is not suited to La Liga football. And in in Europe, I don't think he's a good player. I think Leeds is probably his type of club where no pressure, just deliver. I think he's just a player that just fits a mid-table Premier League side. I don't think he fits top six. But yeah, he's um, the pressure going to him, that's for yeah. sure. And um, let's see what's going to happen. But unfortunately, he had too many chances this season. And let me say this again. People will say he's scoring goals and assisting. I don't care. In terms of play, you know, he hasn't had anything extra. And he's been very poor in terms of play. And he's, the seasons is so, so, so bad. And another game, another game where he was shocking today again. Another game where, you know, I don't know how many times I swore on Rafinha today. And, yeah, my man, look, I think we said everything. We've said what we have to say. And um, you basically said about second leg, right? I was just about talking about second leg. Just quickly, you know, I think with the players that we got out after watching the first leg, I I don't think we're going to go through it now. Unfortunately, it hurts me saying this. I was excited. I was on social media and taking a piece of all United fans. I was on Twitter when you first score. You know, we went 1-0 up. You know, I was just, I was going mad, mad, mad. But now, yes, I'm not confident. You know, Xavi... Fucked up again, as he did a few times. He did last season in Europa League and he did in this season in the Champions League. And Xavi did again. Xavi did again. But yeah, overall, last season has been good. You know, can't really blend, you know, too much Xavi. still young. Of course, we're going to have to give Xavi time, but let's see what's going to happen. And um, yeah, but I'm not confident going into the second game. Just a quickly question. Do you think the ref today, as I've mentioned, right, I thought the ref made bad calls for both sides today, right? There was a lot of bad decisions today for both, affect both sides. Do you think the ref had an impact of... Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, football fans these days. Like... Football fans these days, not you, but like overall football fans these days just blame the refs. I'm not saying you, but like in terms of English media, Go for the ref only. And that's probably what we're going to see from United fans. And I'm here, I'm seeing on Twitter, United got robbed, blah, blah, blah. Just, you drew. Okay, the ref, I know, was poor today. I, I'm not going to deny the ref was tonight was poor. Barca should have at least a penalty, in my opinion. But that's what you're going to get. And just deal with it. Because the refs, this, this, this day and age, are awful. We've seen it this season. Last season they were all right, so I I just don't want United fans saying uh, using an excuse of a referee because I'm hearing on social media that they are, which I do not get. But obviously United fans would want to uh, find a little bit of hope to like you know ruin Barca and say oh we you got lucky yeah, but I just don't get these fans these days blaming the refs. I think he he was an impact on the d- draw. It was both teams being poor like. Both teams in terms of both teams when I hit, both teams had chances. It was just none of them buried them. Like you know, I buried the chances they had. I don't, I don't think they had any. Well, Weghorst was hot. he he should have scored in the first half, in my opinion. He had the chance. Lundos should have scored. So I couldn't I couldn't name so many chances before before the ref that both both teams had. So I don't really blame the ref for the the ref was poor, but I don't blame the ref for the def, for the result. That's that's basically what I want to say. Like I said, uh, the ref made quite a few bad calls today for both sides, right? Not yeah. just for Barca or, you know, just for Man United for both, right? I thought the ref was very poor tonight with a lot, lot of bad calls for both sides. And I think everyone agree. And, um, yeah, the draw was a fair result. But people, what's a game of football, eh? 
What yeah. a fantastic game of football. I had a different expectations. I thought we would have done it much better than we did tonight. I thought, uh, even so, yeah, we had chances and stuff, but now I thought we would have done it better. We should have done it better as well in the first leg because we knew how crucial it was to take an advance and got into all Trafford for second uh, leg. By the way, it's Juventus 1 0, by the way. Love it. Yeah. And um, we knew how important would have been got one one nil. Uh, sorry, with a win at uh, into second leg in Old Trafford, we knew we should have done it better to because win today. My prediction for the second leg, I want to say it now. Looking at the injuries, looking at Barca right now, two 0 United, and I'm saying that because. Where's okay, as you best friend, where do you find the spark? Like, where's the spark gonna come from for Barca to score a goal? Lewandowski can't can't finish for some reason. You I don't have mean it now. Rafinha, who is a oh my god, I didn't know I don't know how he how he dropped off this match. Rafinha so was so good at Leeds. He just I don't know what's happened. I'm too fatty and still young, but he's been disappointing. Like I remember watching him for that. He was such a good talent. Like people are calling him not the next Messi, but the in terms of the play overall play, um, I think you could say he was a he was basically messy in terms of the breakout start. So where does, where's the spark gonna come from? I'm just wondering where the spark is gonna come from for Barca. I can't see you guys scoring at Old Trafford. No matter even if even if Maguire starts a defense, where's the spark gonna come from? I, I don't know where the spark going to come from. I think like I years. said, like unfortunately, like I said, it hurts me saying this. I'm not confident now into second leg. We've got too many key players out. I'll say this: if you not get the first goal, ten minutes is done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We probably if 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 Man United gets um if Man United gets a goal early in the game, we're probably gonna get smashed. We're probably oh. gonna get fucked all. Right, no. uh, if if it's one first, yeah. If Just Barca can stay in the game, go, quickly yeah. go in the live chat. Big up to you, Mark, my yeah. man. It's not the result we want. Very, very upset. And yes, let me just quickly go in here. As I've mentioned yeah. already, my man, Chavi was horrible today, right? A slow Marco Alonso star over Christensen with Rashford pace did not make sense. Like Why said, that is not star as well? I, I, Pedri. I, Got injured, right? Yeah. And bringing in Sergio Robert, I do not get that. What basically what Chavi is doing is what Chavi did last season against Frankfurt, and what Chavi did this season in the Champions League against Inter, and also against Bayer in the first leg, right? Where we yeah. was the better team in the first half, we create so many chances against Bayer, we dominate them, but Chavi once again fell. But look. This was my worry thing, you know. I thought, you know, Chavi, surely he has learned from the mistakes. And I, I keep saying this every time I live stream Barca games, I said, surely Chavi has learned from his mistakes, right? He cost us the Europa League last season. And also this this season in the Champions League, he cost us not going through and got knocked out in a group uh, stage. Like, like I said, I can understand what he was what he's trying to do, he tried to surprise United by starting Roberto and Alonso, but it just didn't work out. I think, because I think he thought, like I said, he, he thought a bit of a surprise to United because United were preparing for Balde and um, who who else were they preparing for? Christensen. But you should have started them too because, like a pick, you think Roberto and Alonso are faster than Rashford? No, they're not. They are they're good players. Good, like they are quality players. A legend of the game. I'm not about Alba. Yes, definitely Alonso up there with good Chelsea legend. But are they good enough to cover Rashford? No. I like I, we've mentioned already. The most like the the thing that I'm concerned about today that one of the biggest mistake that Chavi made today was Pedri coming off injured. And bringing yeah. in Sergio Robert. Instead of bringing in Anzo Fati, he brought in Sergio Robert. Like Reg- Sergio Robert will not add anything like Pedri adds, right? No. And 
we were saying even um, before I was just saying you could have done two things: put Pedri, put Gabby in the midfield, put De Jong in the more forward, forward role, and then put Unspray. Or go back to a four-three-three, your usual system you go with, um, or Lewandowski at front and Sufati and um, Rafinha, and then your midfield of Kessi, uh, De Jong, and Gabby. You could have done two things. Yeah, no. like we mentioned already, we've mentioned already, Chavi could have done two things, right? Even Andrew Fati could have been behind Lewandowski, even if he yeah. wants to still drop Gavi into the left. And also, Frankie Kaysai, yeah? Kaysai today, if, if Sergio Roberto had to replace a player today, would have been Frank oh, Kaysai. I think it was disappointing for me. He, he was the most disappointing player on the pitch, in my brother. He was, and he still lasts like 60... Yeah. Like sixty-seven minutes, sixty-six and minutes. You know what's more surprising? He fit. He fitted this game perfectly. A like destroyer, and I think he would have. Busquets was a miss tonight, though. Busquets was a huge miss, and I know he's thirty-seven. Like Busquets is very old now, but I thought Kessie fitted this game just because of the destroyer role. You want to stop Casemiro and Bruno from playing, but Kessie was. He could. You could say he was the worst player on the pitch. But then he was slow as well. He was very, very slow. Like I, I've mentioned already again on this live stream, we've been at, we've been live for over one hour and a half. And I said that, you know, the players that Man United has out at the minute, like Eriksen, Lisandro Martinez, and looking at the players that we got out, right? Buskic. Buskic is not only Barca's captain, Buskic is our leader as well, right? Buskic today would definitely have made the difference. We've got Dembélé, who is a most dangerous player, and you've got Rafinha, who decides not to step in. Like I said, I'm not sure if Mark's still watching this, right? But I'm sure he will agree with me. I don't care what people say about Rafinha, right? Rafinha has been scoring, he's been assisting, yeah, but he does not add anything else. Rafinha mm -hmm. makes too many bad decisions. Rafinha is not adding anything else he's not wadding game plan he's not and, adding game like we need yeah. him to add something into and the game right you're making a great point there where the leadership as well who has the leadership to wake the players up at when it was 2-1 united who had the leadership to wake up the players thinking just we're still in the game who where was the shouting from who was the captain tonight who i'm not sure the captain was but the captain should have, should have just led the team to saying calm down we're still in the game where was that leadership? There's no leadership without Busquets. And that concerns me as well, going to the United game. This is why I would risk him. Because you would you would want to... Because Europa League, I think, is in after the United second leg of this one. Europa League is in like a few weeks. So don't do what the PSG manager did by resting. But I would risk Busquets right now. Like, where's United? Because he may not be fully fit, but at least there's a leader there who can wake up the players if just in case United score early. Because... You're going to need a leader. You're definitely going to need a leader. Um, the captain today for Barca was Jordi Alba. Like I said, I wasn't much worried about Jordi Alba. I said this a few times. I don't mind if Barca plays Alba or plays Balde. I think we have two very good left backs. But my main concern is starring Marcos, Marcos, uh, Marcos Alonso. I know he's got a goal, but I don't care. He's slow. He hasn't got the pace. And you know, you, you're facing a player like Marcos Rashford, who is absolutely on fire at a minute. You need someone with pace. This I is think. why we played Ronald Araujo as a right back. But then Ronald Araujo as a right back, that was a surprise credit to Tehan, by the way, dropping him in two as a striker in the middle. That clearly, this is why, like we've mentioned already, in the first few minutes, right, we did not, we, it was taking Barca time to see yeah. how Man United was setting up because Rashford clearly... Um, Sancho was the one playing in the left and yeah. took us a bit time. Then we got control of the game. We knew Rashford was going to play, be playing up front in the middle and we started taking control of the game. And I, then, would, hmm, I, yeah, think, I would have started the same back four as usual where like you had four pacey fullbacks. You had four pacey centre-backs and the whole defence was fast. Jordi Alba, but they doesn't matter. You have Kunde as a right-back who is fast to cover... Originally, we thought it was Rashford, but he had, he had enough pace to cover Bruno or either wingers. You you had Christensen and um, Aruha who should have started, then them two should have started because they had. An, I'm I'm sure United would have struggled more if you started that back four. Like where 
I, I think Weghorst, I mean, he, he had a chance as well in the first, I think, 10 minutes of the game. No, this is what I've mentioned, right? He was offside. That would have been offside. There was yeah, two, yeah, I think... two of Man United chances in the first half that would have been offside. I'm sure VAR would have allowed. Yeah, so, like, and... yeah. But still, he didn't know it was offside. That's the thing. Like, he should be bearing that. And, like, I would say this about United. Like, they do, they need, they need a striker. But when you have Rashford, who can pop with a goal out of nowhere, do you really need a striker? I don't think you do. So, Barca, man, they, they were... I blame Xavi for ninety five percent of this. I, oh yeah, hundred percent. Like yeah. we've mentioned already. I mean, I'm I'm absolutely fuming that Xavi once again he fell, and that's it. And like yeah, I said, I'm not confident well. going into the second. Like you said, last think. season versus Frankfurt as well, because you know I think he played really well in the first leg, right? You look got a, a draw. What against Frankfurt last season? Like we was lucky in the first leg to get a draw, and the oh, second oh, yeah, leg they absolutely destroy us. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that one, but yeah, I yeah, even if you don't go bad in that first leg, or there we go, yeah, you're bad in the first leg, which was, in my opinion, was Frankfurt should have won that. Like Frank, I think Frankfurt won that as well. Which, if I was like Xavi in big games, flops. I don't know what it is. Keep this, like, why not? It's just a normal football it's, game. It's no. most in it in Europe that he has yeah. flops. Yeah. He has flopped last season against Frankfurt, like I mentioned, and he has flopped this season in the Champions League. Yeah. And he, um, he, going with Mark in here, Mark says Fatih must start. Yeah, he, yes, will, he, will. he has to start now. With the injuries we go, he must Unless start. Unless he Torres. And he says, we need a goal threat yeah. with you because Lewandowski, all of a sudden, from a very good start of the season, banging goals after goals, you know, Lewandowski just stopped scoring goals. And he's been having chances as well. I don't know what is going on with Lewandowski. I don't know if his miss is not giving him sex. No. The fact that you, you know what's a concern for Barcelona? The fact that you're allowing him for just for him, just for Lewandowski to score goals, is more of a concern. Because usually teams should at least have like three options. Like Liverpool, we have, if Salah's not on it, you have Nunes, Gakpo. United have, if Rashford's not on it, you still have um, Bruno who can pop with the goal. You still have Sancho who have got Man City, Haaland, if Haaland's not on it, well my Haaland, but you have De Bruyne who have got you and um I can name many more. You need to stop relying on doing those just for the goals. You need to stop that because but most teams in Europe rely on three players at least. Like I'd many I name many examples. I can name I can go on all day and naming many examples. I have many goal threats. So the fact that you rely on him is more embarrassing. Yeah, That's like it. we've mentioned, like against Villarreal when we did the match um, review, I said that we're just lying on Lewandowski too much, he's not been scoring the goals. And then, yeah, we've been winning games because we've got a solid defence. Like, our defence is the one that been winning most of the games for Barca. Let's be real in here. Our defence has been the one that been winning most of the games for Barca. And... Yeah. Because we're not scoring enough goals. And We've been winning by one goal difference. But we knew this game would have been a complete... And you only can see, I think, seven goals, right? Seven goals in the Liga, which yeah. was an amazing record. But, you know, I just want to say, I think it was, it's a good achievement. I'm not taking it away. But it's a difference between Europe and La Liga. La Liga, you have... Except, I think the three teams that have a chance of beating Barca is Real Madrid, obviously. Atletico Madrid and Sevilla sometimes, not sometimes. I mean, sometimes. Sevilla's been poor this yeah. season. But usually you see Sevilla up there, right? You usually see them up there. But it's different. Like, Europe, you're seeing... I think if whoever wins this game wins Europa League. I mean, I know there are better teams. That, I think Arsenal's there as well. But I think Arsenal will fall off, in my opinion. But that's my opinion there. But whoever wins this game wins Europa League, in my opinion. Whoever goes through. Because I think that team will have confidence going into the rest. Because if, like I said, like here, Mark says, uh, ready for. I think it will be an easy game for United if if Chavi makes them, if Chavi overthinks it. Which is possible. We've seen it this game. If he overthinks it, United demolishing. And it, if they score early, it's done. It's, they're getting demolished. Barca, it's finished then. It's finished. We've got too many key play, too many yeah. key players out. And then if we go in there and consider going the first ten minutes, we. 
probably most likely probably will get smashed if we lose a concentration like we did today because clearly we went one nil up and then we've lost the concentration right yeah we just absolutely lost the concentration on the game. Then Man United in the space of what four or five minutes scored two goals. And then they could have gone three one up easily, right? Easily. In the second half. We we only wake up in the second half when we score when sorry, pardon me. We only wake up in the second half when we equalize. But then yes, when we equalize we put so much pressure on Man United. We could have won the game. We had so many good chances. At least like, three of them. You were brilliant in the first half, though. You were, you were very good in that first half. I don't know what happened. What Xavi said to them at half time, I do not know. Because clearly, the, you lot had a good start scoring the first goal. Okay, that's a good start. You just do not concede two. And you did the exact opposite. And I think it just shows. What it shows is Barca has a long way to go until they become a top. Like they're a top team, but until what they want to become. Because it just shows, like I said, it shows the team that Barca want to become and they thought they were. Just shows a re- It shows a reality check as well, in my opinion, where you're not going to be up there in the Champions League until you're still going to need time. So I think not you, but most Barca fans thought they... Like, I thought you lot could beat United, honestly. But it's just too many injuries. Like I said, I can't see you guys beating United or Trafford because where's the spot going to come from? I do not know. And you have too many injuries. So, you know, I'm going to thrash I think United tra- thrash you at Old Trafford. But we'll see. Well, you never know. United can pick up an injury. You never know. But let's be real in here. Since Messi left Barca, yeah, we, got knocked out. we got knocked out in the Champions League last season. I'm not talking about this season. Messi... You know, live in Barca, got no time in the Champions League, all the money problems that Barcelona are going through. We know it's going to take time for Barcelona to go back up there, right? Why did you not pay the 50%? I don't get like what, why did you pay the 50% extra? What messy thing? Because I don't know, to be honest, I don't know what, what actually happened behind skin with Messi, right? There's so much going on that, you know. What media says one thing about Messi, what other media says something else about Messi. There's so many things that we don't know the real truth. We don't know the real truth, right? And we knew to sign Messi, yeah. it would be very, very hard to sign a new Messi contract. La Liga did everything for Barcelona not to sign Messi, right? Because of his wages and because of the bill that bill wages that Barcelona still has to pay to La Liga. Because right. I think you need to sell De Jong, right? You might have to sell De Jong this summer. But in- like I said, I've said this a few times, right? We know that we're going to need to make some money in the summer. Players like Frank and De Jong, yeah, I would love... I, I said for the previous of this game, I was in someone else's channel and I said that. And I said, you know, I want Frank and De Jong to stay at Barca for so many years. I think he's a fantastic player well, and play in multi-positions. But then, yeah, in, in the summer, if there's a player we're going to look into it to sell in the summer... Right thing, it clearly is going to be the first one. And Zafati may be another one as well. So, yeah, there's going to be quite a few tables out there. Frankie yeah. Cassay will be in there as well. The thing is, Frankie De Jong, you could get loads of money out. That's what, you could get at least 150 million, 140 million out of De Jong. Because that's how good he is. That's, like, I think he's not the same player as he was at Ajax. Because I think Ajax, I, loads of players look at Ajax. That's been Donny van der Beek was different. And uh, ZS was good. It's just different teams, right? So it's but, different kind of football yeah, as well. Yeah. And ne- ne- Netherlands league, we know is yeah. a different football, right? Yeah, it's That's a completely different football. Yeah. We know in here, Gora Sene with a few hearts, you know. Much love to you, people. Make sure you smash the like on the stream. I mean, not much heart for Barcelona. Subscribe but... to the channel as well if you're new. Keep bringing the likes up. Yeah. Leave your forwards in the live chat as well. But yeah, look, as I was finished off, I'm not confident, unfortunately. It really hurts me because I really want to go through against Man United just because I think Man United fans just talk too much rubbish. They absolutely just talk, talk, talk. And they was just talking like they were smashing eyes. That's what I said. I was all over my social media and I said, yeah, we're going to beat you. You wait until we're going to beat you. Yeah, I was confident we're going to beat them. 
you know that. You in here to tell me that if I'm lying now, I said, I don't think we're going to smash them. I think it's going to be very yeah. hard. And yeah, I expect better. From what I've seen, Barca, how much we have improved since we got knocked out in the Champions League this season, we have improved a lot. But then seeing Xavi again, basically, like I said a few times, right. Xavi fucked up again. What is your prediction going to say? Like, what is your actual prediction, like, honest? Like, I've got confidence. I don't want to predict anything, but I don't think we're going to go through now, unfortunately. Uh, I yeah. mean, if you, the only hope is if you can stay in the game until maybe 70th minute. And then, but well, that's ifs and buts. I just... I just can't see you guys create any spark. I can't see you guys. I think that if Xavi plays um, um, Alonso again, you're done. So if Xavi sure, overthinks I'm it, sure, then, I'm sure yeah. Xavi will play his best team in a yeah, second. He has line. to. Like there's, he has to play his best team. He has to play on Sufai. He, it's like he, it's not, it's not buts now. It can't say if you want to play him. If not. It's, it's must now. Who else? And also, I think. Do you think Xavi will go back to 4 3 3 in the second leg? I think he has to. I think he will. Because how how you will do 4 2 3 1? I don't think you can do that. Unless you want to move De Jong in a cam, but I don't think he's ever played that. He's played there, but he doesn't really play there anymore. You have Pe- Gavi, who is out, goes out. Um, no one else that can play there. So he has to go back to 4 3 3. I don't know what else you can do. Uh, what else can you do? Like, 4 2 3 1 doesn't, don't work, won't work. So four three three, he has to go to. I think he has to. So he will, unless Chavi overthinks it again, which is possible. Yeah, I mean, I think we we're gonna have to go with with the injuries we got him in now. I think we're gonna have to go for three three, or even like playing Fati as Pedri. You know, let's see yeah. if Busky. The thing is. My worry thing is like if Busquets gets back in time, yeah, fit for that game, yeah, we should be playing that midfield for next game. We should be playing. Let me just bring in you, just quickly the lineup for Brass, right? In the second leg, with the players that we will have available for the second leg, I will, I would be playing Ter Stegen. Right, the no. same arrow as it doesn't matter, centre back or as a right back, but most likely as a centre back next to Christensen. Left back, I would take a risk, a put Balde. I know Jory Alba has more experience, but I would still no, put I mean, Star Balde. Jordi, I mean, I think Balde is more faster than Jory Alba. Oh, so yeah, I think he would have has to. more pace. You would have to, like I said, he has more experience. But I, like I said, I don't think you mind if he starts Alba or Jordi Alba. I don't, I don't think any of the boss from base do. If he's off spell they are well because they're both very good left backs. You have very good left backs. I think right back you need a strength in the summer. I think Kunde's good, but you probably do need a right back we that bought, has... we bought uh an Adam oh, yeah, that... you Mexicano right oh, yeah, back. That guy, yeah, that guy, that yeah. guy. But I think you need a bit more I think he's good he has potential. I think you need at least experience right back. I don't think he's like like a tr- not a like a Trent no, but like a trippier basically who can just cover for that time and then let that right back grow into that talent you want. But Kunde's good at Kunde's good at right back. You know, I don't I don't think you desperately need right back. I think you need a midfielder. But that's if you can get the money. You need the money first to buy. Exactly. But going into the second leg, yeah, this is the team. Like like I say, I'm not confident now after the first leg and end off. I'm not changing my mind. With the key players we got injured. Going into the second leg, I will play Marco Andre Ter Stegen in goal. Yeah. I would play Conde, Araujo, Christians as a centre back, and then Balde as a left back midfield. Right, this is where it comes in now. Right, the midfield needs to be this. Right, if Busquets gets back in time, we need to play Busquets, Frankie de Jong, and then we need to play. We need to take the risk. We need to make sure because as we haven't got anyone to create, that's the problem now. Pedri is the one who's going to create. As when we have the possession, when we're attacking, Pedro most, no. of, most of the times mm-hmm. will be the one that will create for Barca. And also, let's not forget that Gavi also will not be playing in the second leg, right? So, yeah, I need Busquets, Frankie de Jong, Kisai, right? And I will be playing with. Um, Andrew Fati, Rafinha, and Lewandowski. Would you play Ferran Torres? 
No, no chance. Oh, okay. I, was just I would prefer. I would. I would. I would prefer to play. You know, a sixteen years old and playing Ferran Torres. The yeah. guy's a plastic player. Like he was good at Sevilla. Then he went to Man City for that record fee, whatever. No, then no, he, he was good at. He was good at Valencia. Yeah, Val- uh, sorry, Valencia. Yeah. And then Man City bought him for that good, a major fee, and he flopped at Man City. He flops at Barca. He is Ferran Torres is never gonna be. Like he was, I was actually excited to see him at Man City because I think he was very. I, I saw him at Valencia, saw a bit of highlights. He actually looked good. And then Premier League was different. And then he struggled at Premier League. You thought La Liga return would help, and then no, it didn't help because he, yeah, Ferran Torres is finished. Let's be honest. That twenty three as well. What's he gonna do? I can't see. Him. I know. Um, but look, is what it is. Like I said, this is the way we play. I just want in the second leg, hopefully. This is the team that I would start. Marco Andre Ter Stegen, Conde, Araujo, Christensen and Balde. And then put in our midfield, if Busquets gets back. But the problem is, is that if Busquets does not get back, right, what is going to happen? What is going to happen if Busquets does not get back, right? There's, there's going to be another mess in here. Who are we going to play if Busquets does not get back in time for the second game? By the way, Neil Kane, big up to you, my boy. Really appreciate the support. Hope you're doing well. People, make sure you keep smashing the like on this stream, please. Come on. Um, really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, my man. But yeah, um, as Gavi is out, Pedro is out, let's see what Chavi is going to do. We need to do something. We, know, we cannot have another performance like we had today. I think if Chavi does go- get through... It's a Chavi masterclass because somehow I don't think he will. But if Boston can get through this, then Chavi, what a masterclass from Chavi! Because, but I can't see it. But if he does, like I say, I think he will deserve much credit. Like he deserves, he will deserve everything about that result. Like yeah, I but then do you know yeah. actually, do you know I think Chavi will start Sergio Roberto in the second leg. I th- I don't think Chavi will risk. I would risk it, you know, but I don't think Chavi will just because of how old Busquets is, and you wouldn't want to get him injured again. But I, if he gets injured again, well, hopefully not. I, I don't wish injuries on anyone, but at least you'll have like maybe a four weeks until the next round, three weeks. It. So I think he'll be back in time. So I would risk him, but do I think Chavi will? Probably not. I, I think like I said, like I said already, I think from the Lakers updates that I've read up about Busquets, he may will be playing Sunday night La Liga against Cadiz. He might come on for the last half an hour and then yeah. he, I don't know, Chavi will Chavi take risks I and would, start Busquets? I would probably not play. I'll probably give him last 30 minutes of the game. Bring him on last 30 minutes of the game versus Cadiz. Just because you would want to get some minutes in. And then you at least you have him prepared for that man, that massive Man United game now that is. So it'll be interesting to see because it's gonna be it's either gonna be United domination or extra time. Because I can't see Barca winning over nine minutes. I, I, like I, I said, I, look, I was confident. I said like on a previous a few times, I said I'm confident we're gonna go through in but with both legs. I, I never said we're gonna smash Man United. But I'm not confident anymore after the first leg and having too many key players injured. So, yeah, look, unfortunately, it hurts. I would love to win the Europa League. And as I mentioned a few weeks back, this was before we started getting all the players injured and stuff. And, of course, Xavi basically fucking up I mean, again, once at least, again. At least you'll probably win the Liga. I mean, I still think it's a good season for you, like winning the Liga. Oh, yeah, because we're going through a rebuild. Like, yeah. we know we got money problems. Messi left the club. We had an absolutely shocking season last year. But, look, it will take time, I believe. And I believe we'll yeah, be in the Premier League next season. Yeah, you will. That's what I was about to say. That's what I was about to say. You know, at least you'll be in Champions League. That's pretty much not confirmed because, obviously, but for Barca not to get top four in the Liga is Barca need to go on, like, a 10-game spell where they just don't win. And but then that's a doubt. So Barca will be in charge the next season, but it's about how will the summer go? Are there going to be any incomings? I don't. I don't know because Barca will probably sell De Jong. That's probably going to 
because United would have got. I think United, thing where we go. Yeah, United wanted him, but I think Dion rejected United. Was it? He he didn't want to go there. He wanted to stay at Barca. So, Dion, I'm sure Dion will go to. I think he'll go United. I think because I think United will get top four this season. So Dion will probably go for like. I think he'll get at least 120 million for him, and then Rafinha probably 30 million. So that will leave you 160 million budget. How much do you need to pay back? That's the problem. Like, so we've got like around just over 100 million. We need to make sure that we cut in a bill wages. But let's see what's going to happen until then. So you sold the young 120 million, get them out, Rafinha, 160 yeah, million right there. Not, but that's not how it really works, right? You need to make sure you cut the bill wages down as well. I mean, it's, it's so much. But look, people, big up to everyone that watched this. Please keep smashing the like on the stream. Smash the poll as well. Do you know, the poll actually had a massive turnaround now, right? Oh. We've got, who was the better team today, right? So at the minute, it's 50 50. Oh, damn. At the minute, the poll is 50 50, right? And like I said, I thought the, the draw was a fair result. And um, yeah. People, I'm not confident in the second game. You predict 2 0 for Manchester United in the second yeah. leg, right? 2 0 United, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, like I said, I am not going to predict any score line for the second leg, but I'm not confident anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm upset. Of course I am. You guys know I am very, very upset. I'm upset. I'm angry. I did not want to lose. Never mind if I lose in La Liga in one game against Cadiz, wherever. Not against Man United. I cannot handle. I, mean, the I United cannot fans handle United. a lot of Man United fans. You know what? Absolutely crap. I do not want United to go through as like just because of their fan base. Their fan base is gonna be like, oh well, we're gonna win the Freddy. They're gonna say this watch. They're gonna say we're gonna win the Kudu. But I, this is I just know them. They're gonna say something odd, and we, it'll cause chaos. And then you know, um. But I I I hope you guys go through. But my doubts for for United for my doubts for Barca are quite low because I can't like I just can't see Barca scoring a goal even. I just can't like where unless but like a Chavi masterclass. You're still in the game at least. You're still in the game. But like if Pedri didn't come off, we'll be discussing something different potentially. If Pedri didn't yeah, come like off. I said, I thought when Pedri come off injured. Do you know, I was like, I can't see we winning this game now. Yeah. I don't know. I just that was me. That was the feeling, and yeah, I was right. But look, let's look into quickly in the next Barca games. As of course, we only got Sunday night La Liga, Cadiz. We must rest a lot of players, but still, we need to win. We need to make sure we win, and then we got Man United second leg. This is where it becomes very, very, very tricky with the players that we got injured as well. I don't know. I mean, I'm not confident. I think, I like I think the Liga, you win the Liga. Copa del Rey, that'll be interesting, actually. Madrid, Barca, Copa del Rey, that'll be Madrid a... Madrid slowly is getting their form back now. Oh, Winning the please. FIFA Club World Cup. We could increase their form by losing to Madrid. So, you know. But yeah, it depends. Like, I think Madrid, they are slowly coming back. But I think we, if we will beat them, then maybe their form, their dip will be low. So, be interesting to see because, like, we face Madrid very soon next week. So, I am nervous yeah. for that game. But first, we've got Newcastle. So, you know, I have to focus on Newcastle first, then Madrid. But, yeah, it's uh, Barca right now. They'll win a Liga. I think Barca will win something this season. At least Barca will win a trophy this season. That's that I can confirm. Barca will win a trophy this season. We won. We won the Super Cup this Spain. Yeah. We won. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yeah. So Barca will win. I think another trophy at least. This I believe we win La Liga as well. But yeah. um, I want to win everything. That's the thing. I want to win everything, my man. Two, and two. Like, On it's paper. Yeah. Oh, so for looking no. into. Man United's next game, as you mentioned already, right? Easy. So Man go. United has this is Man United next games, right? Easy. Sunday. Leicester. Against Leicester. They're so inconsistent. Leicester could turn up, but then Leicester Leicester just won, so they're probably not gonna turn up. Probably that's how it's gonna I think United will thrash him, even with the rotated side. Probably be him 2 0. I think United will probably dominate. And then they got 
But the thing is, I think you lot have a bit of a where boss, you know, I'd have a three day break between the final end. So maybe, I'm not saying I'm going to go through, but maybe there's a chance because of the three day rest before that final. I mean, what do they do? Do they? So that, that's why I think, you know, I want to finish the first leg, second leg easily in the first 10, 20 minutes by scoring that first goal. That's why they want to get that first 10 minute goal. Yeah. And, um, like we've mentioned already, someone in the live chat, Lemmy from Hamburg mentioned, said that Man United, after the second leg against Barcelona, three days after they got the Carabao Cup final against Newcastle, so Man United wants to win a trophy. Man United hasn't won a trophy since 2017, yeah. if I'm not wrong. I Last think United will win the Carabao Cup. I just think, I, I honestly, United will win a trophy this season, I think. They'll probably beat Newcastle, I think. Newcastle right now don't look great, I'm not going to lie. We'll see what they do versus us. But I think United will win the Carabao Cup. They're going to win a trophy. I think they're going to win the Carabao Cup. I think they'll knock out Barca and win the Carabao Cup. I think the United have a squad for a reason. So if they can get the early goal, like I said, United first 10 minutes, then it'll be good. But this, my only worry is if United, if it's still 0-0 with 10 minutes to go, do you want to... Do you rotate or do you keep your big boys on and make them tie for that final. So Newcastle and Barca are two teams that have hope of beating them. But I think Barca is a different one because they have injuries Barca now. Pedri's out, Gabby's out. So I think United will win the club or come beat United, beat, Bar- beat uh, Barcelona. But we'll see. In it. So Bar- United could rotate a bit. Yeah, football, remember what we always said is, right? Football is a very, very funny yeah. game. Anything people, can happen. You know what? I think Barca have a bit of a because no one expects them to do anything, does it? Like no one expects Barca to do anything. Like, like Liverpool, no one expects Liverpool to beat Madrid, right? I'm a, I'm just assuming about other people on Twitter, right? But we could shock people by being Madrid. You could shock people by being Barca by being Man United. So I'm not saying you are, but no pressures on you. So nothing. You have really nothing to lose. So I would go all out. You may as well go all out, Chabby. Nothing to lose. No one expects to go through. Very, very true. My man, what a stream. It's been over two yeah. hours. Right. What a stream. What a stream. What a day. What a game of football, people. I mean, what a game of football we had for today. For me, yes. Yeah. For you, it was, but like injuries didn't help. Yeah. This game, right? Oh. As a Barca fan, yeah, I did not like it at all, but. Of course, because I want to win. If we had won today, yeah, I would be over the moon. But, look, what's a game of football? This kind of game should be in a Champion League night. That Not Tuesday and, and Wednesday night. Not Dortmund and Chelsea. Dortmund and Chelsea should be a Europa League game, actually. Yes, this yes. game has been so far better than any of the Champion League games we had so far. Yeah. And what a game of football. And we, we knew, we said this in the previous, we said it's going to be a good game, it's going to be a tough game. Two teams in form at the minute. For me, as I've mentioned, for me, it's Napoli, Barca, and then Man United being the best teams. Could this be, do you think, could this be... Right now, could sorry. The, could this be the best uh, game in Europe in terms of the the week, the week games we coming back next, next week, Champions League? Do you think this could be the best Europe game? Because... I, I think Liverpool Madrid will top it. I think Liverpool Madrid game will, will top this one. I I think it will be like a Liverpool Madrid will will see will show two good teams. I know men, mentality, like I said, Champions League we will say. So I think this Liverpool Madrid will top this game, but we, I think Liverpool Madrid and Barca might not of the two best games like to watch. I think those are gonna be the two. I, I can't think of PSG buying on paper was good, and then you saw a bit of a. Dead game. Not a dead game, but I, I was expecting a bit of a better game between PSG and Oh, Bayern. yeah, definitely. I mean, I never I never knew, I never said as well, that's going to be an absolutely unbelievable game. Not the way Paris Saint-Germain have been playing. Oh, Come on. They were awful. PSG. Yeah, absolutely horrible. What oh. a waste of a club. But by the way, big up to every single one of you that support the channel as, all, as always. Cannot thank you enough. Thank you for, you know, being with us for over two hours. A great stream. Like I said, it's not the result I want to as a Barca fan, but what a game of football. 
we should all be enjoying these kind of games. And yeah, second leg still on. I'm not confident anymore. I'm I'm gonna be real in here. I'm not confident anymore. I was before the game, but I'm not confident that we're gonna go through. But who knows? Look, football is a funny game. Anything can happen. Remember that. Um, on your way out, if you could do a massive favor, keep smashing the like on the stream. Yes. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. My men, uh, day off tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, but then we'll be back Saturday. Saturday we'll be back with Newcastle against oh, Liverpool, and we be. I will probably be back with Osasuna, Real Madrid later on on Saturday. Then Sunday a few games, yeah. And um, Sunday, uh, we'll discuss Sunday. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thank you for coming along, my man. Anyways, it was your birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. I did yeah. say happy birthday to you, it's, but you just decided to ignore me, by the way. And, oh. um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you enjoy oh. your birthday? Yep, yep. I just couldn't reply because I was mostly out, so... No worries, my man. It's all yeah. good. As long as you had a good birthday, that's yeah. the main thing. And uh, really appreciate you coming along, yeah. my man. Anything you want to say to everyone that's still watching Make us? Sure. We've got eight people watching us. Make sure you like this live live stream make sure you like every live stream but subscribe for horror if you're new yeah i mean make sure you join us for the saturday because we know newcastle will be a tasty tasty match that that could be a, that's actually a massive game for top four that's actually like Definitely. a like if we win you're gonna be you're gonna see me the happiest like actually like but then like we got madrid so like that could just keep yeah going. and also big game tuesday between madrid and liverpool for champion league Football forever is always, like I always said, the home of live football on YouTube will always be back. People always keep smashing the like, keep smashing the subscribe. A massive thank you. God bless every single yeah. one of you. Football forever will be back on Saturday. And yeah, peace and love. Muchas gracias. Merci. Thank you. Whatever language you speak, remember, I'm in here always. Thank you very much. Adios. Ciao.